down here in Koi Park to talk to the marine biologist Zita Matias. We are going to talk about bioluminescent fish, a topic that will blow your mind. So let's have a look. Thank you for coming to our show. Thank you for doing this story, and thank you, Dr. J. Elvis, for letting us do the interview here. Bioluminescence is an interesting subject, Miss Sench, because many people mistake it with fluorescence. And as you can see here in these fish, they have two or more substances that combine to generate light, which does not require or generate a lot of heat, or it can be called as cold light. So, how do fluorescent things glow in the dark? Well, everything that glows in the dark contains phosphorus, which radiates visible light after being energized, like this flashlight here. In fluorescence, it is ultraviolet light that energizes the phosphor. So, how does marine life create light? Well, there is a little fellow called luciferin, which produces light. And this collides with luciferous, which is energizing the luciferin and producing the strips of red, green, yellow, and all the other colors on the rainbow. Well, I've done my own research and found out that bioluminescence is used for camouflage, hunting, and escaping by species such as angler fish. Let's take a look. This can be very useful for hunting in the deep sea. Yes, and interestingly, it is also used by fireflies to check their mates during mating season. Yes, and how is this romantic film relevant to us? Glad you asked. These adorable little creatures contain our friend Luciferus, which is being used in medical research, pharmaceutical development, drug screening, gene therapy, and improving our understanding of biological processes. Maybe in 34 years' time, fishermen will have glowing bait to lure fish in the deepest of seas. And on that bright note, we will say thank you and goodbye to Dr. Dr. Matias and Dr. J. Alves, owner of Koi Park. Tune in next week. And until there, I am Luisa Santos, and on the St. Julian's Network behalf, we wish a good night to all our viewers.